part two in our series of how to use Jira Service Desk and Insight Asset Management to track and maintain your professional development activities such as mandatory training, accreditations and certifications. In part one, we demonstrated the Insight Object Schema and the object types and their attributes and relationships. In this demonstration, we will show you how an employee creates a request to update their record in Insight using the Jira Service Desk portal and the request will require an approval. So in part one, we're logged in as the employee into our free service desk portal. We have the option to add or remove accreditations, certifications, or training modules. So in this example, we're going to add a completed accreditation as this employee. So we click on that and it opens up the form. The form has a number of fields as well as some helpful text along the side to assist the employee with completing the form. So we complete each field as required. We select the employee who completed the accreditation. We add our completed date. We have an optional inactive date if we have one and we know it, we can add that in. We have an expiry date for the accreditation, so we add our expiry date in. We can also attach certificates, confirmations and transcripts to the request. So we've done that and now we click on create. So from the employee's perspective, they have completed what they need to do to add a completed accreditation to their record. So we can now see that it's waiting for approval by this employee's manager, Robin Williams. So the next step of this is going to be to log in as the manager and complete the approval. So now we are logged in to our service desk as this user's manager. We can now go to the requests menu and we can see that we've got some approvals waiting. So we click on approvals and we can see that this is the latest ticket that we have waiting for approval. So we click on that ticket. We can see all the information regarding that particular accreditation that has been added by the user. We can add a comment to the request, so we can say yes, approved, and we can click on approve. So it's a simple one step approve or decline. So now we can see that it's now waiting in progress. The other option a manager has to approve a ticket is actually straight from an email. So they would receive an email that looks something like this, and it has all the information contained about the request type, the summary, any of the fields that have been completed. They have the option to click on approve or decline straight from the email or they can click on view request to be taken to the portal. So there's no license required for an employee to log a request or a manager to approve a request and using this solution removes administrative overheads and getting required approvals completed.